Hello, Tionauts, and welcome to the Stony Market Commentary for Monday the 12th of August 2019. I hope everyone had a great weekend, got some rest, ready for a new trading week. And uh, a new trading week brings familiar themes. The US-China trade war rages on, as do uh, the protests in Hong Kong, which uh, are starting to take uh, more of a, a violent turn. Um, with that comes uncertainty for equities, uh, as well as a boost for gold. Crypto remains largely sidelined, although topside resistance is a concern for the major coins as the uh, momentum from the recent rally fades. But uh, for Monday, uh, crypto is uh, largely a non-event uh, as uh, traders focus on other asset markets. Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, spend the majority of the day just hovering around the $11,400 and $212 levels, respectively. I'm sure we will have uh, some more exciting days for crypto ahead of us. Um, so moving on to FX and uh, to equities and other markets, etc. The first major move of the, the week was uh, seeing equities do a, a bit of a dramatic U-turn in Europe, really. Um, European stocks have started the day in positive territory. Um, the DAX was up uh, probably about 120 points at one point. Um, and uh, Dow Jones futures were showing up around 80 points. The, um, the Chinese decided to uh, fix the uh, yuan below the uh, the seven uh, the seven yuan level, which uh, you've probably seen mentioned a few times. It's uh, I don't know, it's probably as much of a psychological level as anything else, but it's certainly uh, catching the market's attention. Um, and with that, we saw a sharp reversal in the uh, in the DAX into negative territory, and we saw the Dow Jones futures drop uh, to show 150 points uh, loss at the open. Um, at the same time, we had Hong Kong Airport announcing that it was closing uh, for the rest of the day due to the ongoing process, uh, which clearly rattled the markets. Um, on the FX side, uh, the biggest move is really uh, probably somewhat to be expected with the risk-loss theme. We saw Aussie come down from uh, 67.90 down to 67.5, and we saw Dolly in down to uh, 105.05 from uh, the 105.60 area. Uh, the one surprise was Sterling squeezing higher up to uh, 121.05. I think that was really just due to the market probably getting a little bit carried away on Friday's moves, but uh, technically and fundamentally, nothing has really changed there. They are staring down the barrel of a Brexit no deal gun, so to speak. Um, Euro had one brief set off down to 111.65 against the dollar. Um, probably on the back of some euro yen selling again at the risk off theme, but um, we're still trading back above 112 up to a uh, high just over 112.20 um, as the euro sort of almost taking on a little bit of a safe haven uh, uh, characteristic, I guess. Um, when stocks are falling, uh, risk off is, uh, is pretty much in full force across the board, and with that, we see rally in gold up from uh, 1488 support area up to. A high of around 15.08 uh, prior to the US day beginning. And uh, the US day would indeed begin with the Dow Jones dropping 160 points at the open, only for that loss to more than double by the end of the day, as both politicians and traders uh, alike expressed deeply concern. Um, more about, as I said, about the situation in Hong Kong than, uh, than, any, ongoing, um, than any ongoing trade uh, talks between the US and China. Uh, yields decline across the board. Um, U.S. 10-year yield down to 1.65% again. We saw uh, Morgan Stanley put out a piece suggesting U.S. rates could return to zero by the end of 2020 on the back of uh, another three lots of 25 basis point cuts in 2019 and multiple cuts in 2020. And uh, Bank of America also uh, put out a piece saying uh, they see the chance of a recession in the U.S. in the next 12 months. That's now as high as one in three. It's doom and gloom is upon us, so watch out below. Uh, by the day's end, all the major US indices were down more than 1.2%. Um, FX was a little bit more stable. Uh, Euro continues to uh, love the 112 level. Dolly M was at 105.20, and uh, Aussie was stuck at 67.5. Um, moving on to a technical uh, a little technical view on things. One thing I did want to do today was just go and look at something uh, a little different. I'm always looking at uh, commodities and um, 
FX today, I figured we'd take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average as uh, equities really are still taking center stage at the moment, are probably reflecting market sentiment more than uh, more than any other market, maybe with the exception of the uh, of the bond market. So if you look at this early chart, so really going back to the beginning of 2019, um, you're going to see we've been in a you know fairly strong uptrend. We sort of rallied up until um, probably up until the beginning of May. And then uh, we had a drop down in in May to the beginning of June, and then um, bounced back up again, leveled out a bit in July, and then obviously August, post the uh, July 31st uh, Fed meeting, uh, we've been sort of going in one direction. And obviously during that time, we've had the uh, we've uh, had the uh, Hong Kong situation um, get worse as well, which obviously is weighed on the market. So as you can see here. We had a fairly well defined, uh, defined channel, um, you know, just keep an eye on this level here, which uh, comes in around 25,370, somewhere around there um, as being support. You know, we obviously did have the sell off back in uh, uh, back in May and how and bounce. Nothing to say we won't do that again, but the world has got to change probably a little bit uh, uh, from where we are now for that to happen. So just be mindful of that level. Um, you know, still 500 plus points away from today's close. But, um, you know, as we have seen already last week, 500 plus points in a day uh, is really nothing of the Dow Jones when uh, things are flying around. So with that, I will uh, wish you all the best of luck and uh, I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Cheers.